Hi guys, welcome to day 94 of the 100 day project. I wanted to show you guys these two yarns really fast that I finished today. I spun the one on the spinning wheel today and the drop spindle one was spun over the last two months. They're 100% Romney and their total yardage is 125 approximately. This is last night. This is the drop spindle last night. I still have the bottom portion right there to ply. And this is this morning after I applied the spun and plied the leftover from what I was spinning. I got really impatient with the drop spindle, I'm gonna be really honest. So that's that plied and then I plied up the rest of the drop spindle and I put it on the nitty knotty and voila. Now I want to show you guys what I'm gonna spin up next. Okay, so this is my next spin. I've never spun Gotland before. I do have some, I think, in gray, but this is, the colorway is called Starry Night, and it's, I'm gonna measure how many ounces it is. 4.12 ounces of fiber, I took the band off. I purchased this at, I'll put a, video oh cyber art studio oh my god i'm so excited twenty dollars for 4.12 ounces of gotland and it's by deep dye yarns starry night so it is based off of the Starry Night painting by Van Gogh. And this is what I'm spinning. I've never spun this, so it's gonna be a learning process. And I'm loving the colorway. This is the spin I did today. I applied and spun this one on my drop spindle and I finished it off on my spinning wheel from the same um, roving, or I think it was top comb. But this is Romney, 100%. It's pretty rough to the touch, so I'm thinking maybe a hat or gloves with this for the winter. But I applied it differently if you can see, the drop spindle plying is more tight and this one's looser. So, I mean, they're the same size and weight yarn, but this one is 45 yards. Excuse my horrible handwriting. I just scribbled on there. 33 grams. And this one is 80 yards and it's yeah i like the color variants sorry for the noise but yeah this is what's happening here today is day 94 i believe or 95 of the 100 day project and this is what i'm coming with you with i also have been working on my mom's top so here's the top i have completed so far. I still have to do the ribbing on the top of it. I've connected all the panels and I think I'm going to add something to the bottom so that it covers her more. And then when I finish, I'm going to do a little brush on it because black yarn really attracts things. And I have to sew in a lot of ends, which I'm not looking forward to at all. Yes, I am complaining. <laughs> about it because I'm not really looking forward to that. So it's supposed to be for an extra large. It's a drop shoulder top. It's in full black, which I got super bored with, to be honest, just being honest here. And yeah, this is what I got for today. I'm, I'm saying this because I have like a, I'm addicted to spinning yarn now. It's, it's my favorite pastime. Loving, this is the tie. I'm really loving this. So, 
Yeah, but this is gonna be my next spin. And yeah, I'm really, I'm living my best life. Not just kidding. I just love it. So today I'm working on the border right here of the shirt. And I will share it when I'm finished or when I've made progress. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you guys for watching. Once I wash it, it should relax a little, I hope. Because this one's super relaxed. It might be underplied. I three-plied it. Anyways, that is my video. Have a good day. Bye. All right, you guys. This is my day nine. I'm unboxing some fiber I bought from Juanita. She spins. We have Bachlin Romney sheep, and it's wool. Um, let's see what it looks like. This. Oh yes. I'm back to. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm spinning yarn. Maybe. I don't know. I'm starting to spin up the fiber I purchased from Juanita. So what I decided to do with this is I'm going to stay true to the dye that she did. And I'm just going to spin it as it appears and as the yarn goes into the gradient that she did. And I'm learning a new technique. It's called ply on the fly. So you're basically plying as you spin the single. I'll link the tutorial of how to do it in the description so you guys could check it out because I never knew this existed so that's what I'm gonna do with this while I while I spin it so that way I don't have to ply later because I'll be plying on the fly try 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 and fly fly I'm gonna go with Aaron Duck no I'm just kidding rhymes okay I'm gonna try it I think I'm gonna flip the camera over if you guys know what butterflying is, please tell me. Okay. And she like did this one more. So she made a loop. So she went and did like this. So she could make a loop. Right? So basically you want to get your loop to be long. But to show it on camera, because the camera's oh gosh. So this is what <laughs> this is my struggling. So this is the loop. So you just basically take the single and you pull it through. And then you pull a long loop again because you're making loops. She says she doesn't fly until she's got it all off her hands. So what I'm just doing is making loops. And then this is long enough for me. So now I have a, where's the camera? Three ply. And I'm gonna spin. I go clockwise when I spin, so I'm gonna counterclockwise ply. Keep my hand here to maintain this, this loop open. Oh my gosh, it works. I just plied on my, my spindle. How cool is that? So I guess I would say like check out that channel and see what you can learn from her. I'll link it in the description.